Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and once again it is time for my client Sayus vlog. And uh, as far as the lower body stuff goes, we actually had a pretty good week. Uh, safety bar squats. This was again the heaviest week. Uh, 182 kg on there, and he got five reps. They're clean, they're good, everything is great there. Uh, we were very, very happy with that. Uh, so if you watch these, I mean, great control, and obviously even his last rep was not to full technical failure. Uh, he could have done another rep. So again, we're making phenomenal progress there. Uh, the downside we're having this week is that his biceps have continued to be inflamed. His, um, his physical therapist has advised him to, you know, on weeks like this to, to not train uh, the pressing and stuff. Right? And we notice that rows don't bother it. It's the benching that seems to bother it the most for him. You know, in spite of us doing mostly close grip, uh, you know, which should use the least bicep even as far as, as a stabilizer goes. But he runs into this problem. And, and it's not his training that causes it. Because, I mean, people will look at the training and go, there's no bicep overuse. Hey, you know, how is this happening? Um, it's the, the physical demands of his, his job. Right? It's his job that's the actual issue. Uh, you know, so what do you do, right? What do you do? But as far as the squatting goes, uh, we do the straight bar right now for supplemental work. He notices it doesn't hurt his bicep at all. So again, we're very, very happy about that. This is uh, what we want to have happen. Uh, so again, he used to not be able to do a straight bar at all, but we've gotten him strong enough, upper back strong enough, everything. He can do that straight bar now, uh, pain-free, and eventually I want to take him over to using that you know, a lot more, but we've built a very serious base uh, with those safety bar squats, right? We've built a serious base there, uh, and, and we're happy with it. You know, it's just that I wish that we could get his bicep inflammation under control so we could do, you know, more of the upper body work that we want, but again, he has to carry so much stuff at work all day long if that's really the problem we run into. It's, it's the amount of picking up and carrying that he does. Uh, and for, again, for people who chime in and ask, well, what's he do for a living? He's already said in comments, it's none of your business. He doesn't want you guys to know that. Just like several of my clients don't want you guys to know that it's not your business. Just understand that people have jobs that sometimes have demands that impact this. Whether it's physical demands or people with certain sedentary jobs. You know, we run into issues with their training uh, due to being seated all day. Right? I uh, clients who work 60 hours a week at a desk job. That's uh, <laughs> going to impact you. That's going to have its own other set of problems. You know, so just understand how this works. In other words, you know that he has a job where he carries a lot of stuff. That's, that's what we need to know. And that's the only thing that's useful to you out there listening as far as pertinent information. Uh, we follow up with belt squats and look at that depth. You know, again, we get some great depth there. He's got fantastic hip mobility. And again, phenomenal lower body development. Quads and everything are coming up extremely well. So this is usually our second exercise on his squat day every week. You know, we do uh, back off squats as assistance. Then accessory, we do belt squats. And then we do some rowing and back work for the most. And that's pretty much what we do on these days for him. Um, you know, and like I said, I'd love to eventually put him on conjugate. Uh, he feels it with his mindset. He's, he's worried about doing it. Plus, you know, we only get three training days a week, so we just kind of stick with a squat bench deadlift. But uh, after the leg work, we, of course, do some seal rows. He's got a seal row bench, you know, which we should all be so lucky. They're a little, little difficult to get at the moment, unless you want to spend a fortune on one from Rogue. Here in America right now, you can't even get one. A lot of decent one, not anywhere that I can find. You know, which kind of sucks. I wouldn't mind having one when I move and uh, have my garage gym coming up. So we do the seal rows to get our upper back, middle back, all that. Uh, and of course, the rest of that's handled by uh, you know, our other supplemental work on the upper day. And, and, you know, I'd love to eventually take him to two upper days. But again, it's working around his job. On deadlifts, uh, he was disappointed. He's like, well, because I missed deadlifts last week. I really wanted to go all out. So he got to his, his final set, 
and he went for a fourth rep and missed it, which he knows we don't want to do. You know, the ramp ups look good, but he got three reps. You know, and we're working at 95% training max. You know, so we get a triple. We get a triple, we know that uh, that's at least 90%. It's not 95. All right. The weight on the bar here. So, in other words, we, we can still keep pushing that training max up. We can keep pushing it up. But, hopefully, after the deload week coming next week, because we deload for him every fourth week, hopefully we can get some more benching in, uh, continue to get his bench climbing to keep pace with these other movements, right? You know, and I think that's a funny thing. You know, people are always like, oh, man, Saif's so big, Saif's strong. And then they see some of my non-vloggers, too, and then they're like, well, where do these guys come from? Because I'll put them up on Instagram. They'll occasionally go on Facebook. So if you guys don't follow me on those platforms, you might want to do that. Well, here's what it comes down to. Most of my clients don't want to vlog. Okay, I like the vlogging. I like the vlogging. It's good for business. It, it drives my uh, coaching business. But the vlogs are not always indicative of what's going on with my overall client base, right? So at the moment, I'm sitting on 39. I have 39 clients at this moment. You know, and I like to cap it around 40, which is the other reason I'm, I'm raising rates coming up. Supply and demand. Uh, but most of them don't want to vlog, guys. The vlogging is purely voluntary. You know, when I have clients who say, hey, I, I, want, I want myself to be vlogged and I'll commit to it and, you know, we do the videos, then we put them in the rotation, you know. If I think they're a good fit, I've gotten to where I don't want to vlog novices anymore. I feel like it's a waste of time. Uh, I'd rather not do it anymore. Rather only intermediates, advanced, and elite lifters. But... It's voluntary. So a lot of my strongest people, you guys will see an occasional lift, you know, that I'll put up of theirs. You know, my guys who squat over 500, deadlift over 600. Some of my guys bench 400 plus. Occasionally show some of it. But they don't want their stuff on box. So we worked on that. We worked with uh, Good Mornings. He's going to slowly keep building those up because Good Mornings and hip hinging is a bit of his weak link right now as far as his deadlifts go. And then I let him do his bicep work on this day, just the band work for his biceps, because that's all we do for arms. We do our big multi-joint exercises, then he does band work for arms. It helps with his tendon health, because we get a lot of elbow and tendon issues for him, again, due to his job. Uh, and I think also he said right now he wants to start cutting again. He wants to get a little healthier, get his body fat down more, and then work on getting bigger and stronger again. So we finish up with the extensions, we finish up with the seal rows, and uh, we call it a week. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I'll talk to you guys next time.